Greetings again, it is once again time to welcome some new additions to the Creepy Crawly family. And the stars of today's episode are quite a unique batch of insects. Now what we have here are stick insects, but no ordinary stick insects. They are Megacrania batesii. They're juveniles, they will get quite a lot bigger than this. And they are commonly known as the peppermint stick insects due to their very strange method of defense. They rely on chemicals in order to defend themselves and they secrete a fluid that smells very strongly of peppermint. In, in fact, even when they haven't secreted the fluid, you can still smell the peppermint quite clearly. And as you can see from what was printed on the lid, these come from Mini Beast Wildlife, which is quite possibly the best invertebrate dealer in Australia. Now let's take a look at these. Like I said, these are nymphs. They will get quite a lot bigger than this. And they don't really move around much either, which makes them very, very easy to get some good shots of. Hello there. Some beautiful looking eyes you have, sir. Now, funny thing is, I actually ordered four of them, but it seems I have a free one chucked in, so that is great. Now, Megacrania batesii is found in far north Queensland, as well as, I believe, New Guinea too. That or a similar species in the same genus. And they feed exclusively on Pandanus. Unfortunately, Pandanus are rather spiky, which means gathering the leaves for food is sometimes not the easiest task and I really wish those cars outside would stop revving up their engines. The background noise is getting rather annoying at this point. They're not listening. Ah, screw those guys. Okay. Very handsome looking insects for sure. And those bright red antennae just set it all off. Now the enclosure I have prepared for them is uh, a bit big at the moment, but stick insects grow fairly fast, so that all that extra space is going to be used in, well, fairly soon. In the meantime, we will get all these adorable little fellas to come with me, I guess. Now I hope I don't scare them too much, otherwise they might spray that defensive fluid. The fluid is not especially dangerous, but it is not something you want to get in your eyes. And they tend to only use it when approached from behind, which is what you can see I'm trying to coax them from the front instead. Come on. There's a good little fella. Oh, I love it when they wave their legs around like that, it's just the cutest thing. Oh, you are absolutely gorgeous. That's two of them. My God, what is happening out on the road today? <laughs> what are you two up to? Bit of squabbling going on, are you? Or are you doing something else? Because I think you're a bit young for that. Really, what are you guys doing? Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> uh, there goes Jimmy Carr again. Oh my god, this. Tell me this is not the most entertaining thing ever. Who says insects don't have character? Because they absolutely do. Oh. Fallen on your back, have you, sir? Ma'am? I don't know. <laughs> well, it looks like the show's over. They're starting to go their separate ways now. What I think I'll do is I... My god, those cars outside are loud. What I think I'll do is release them one by one on the 
fresh pandana sleeves I have prepared here. Come on. It's your favourite food, that's it. You go there with your friend, although judging by the way you two were interacting, I'm not really sure if you are friends. But either way, you're gonna have to put up with each other. No, no, not the light. Not the light. You were lucky it's just a light and not one of those bug zappers. Now there are three more. So let's get them out. Don't spray your fluids on me, that's it. And there we go, three more. Oh, look at them all together. God, I love them. This is the first time I have ever seen this species in the flesh, and I'm not even kidding, only a month ago, stick insects didn't even really interest me at all. But, my God, they have grown on me so much. They have really wormed their way into my heart. <laughs> this is just like the giant huntsman. I just want to sit here and just film them forever. Hello there. And also got to say that turquoise colour has got to be one of the, the best colours I've ever seen on any insect. My goodness, it is amazing. Let's not go too far up my arm though. Right, time to get on your plant. Come on. Oh. So this is how these stick insects spend most of their lives. They'll be resting pretty much motionless down the mid-rib of the leaf, and when it gets a little bit later, they will start to move around and they'll begin to feed on the leaves. Pandanus, I mean, looking at it, it's not the most pleasant thing to eat, but on the plus side, it means that these insects, being able to eat it, will be facing very little competition from other herbivores. Now it is time to get these insects and their plant into the enclosure I showed you before. Alright, so those stick insects were cool, but they are not the only animals that I ordered from Mini Beast Wildlife. These guys came about a week earlier. And they are a species of katydid called Philophorella queenslandica, commonly known as the hooded katydid because, well, I mean, look at them. Now I got five of these, I could only find three upon immediately looking into the enclosure. As you can tell from their appearance, their camouflage is absolutely phenomenal. These are also fairly small nymphs. As adults, they're pretty big catered. It's probably about the same size as the Ephipitata triginta duogatata, which have unfortunately all passed away now, but I got plenty of eggs out of them, so I'm expecting some of them to start hatching very soon, actually. Hello. So you're just gonna sit here and look at the camera? That's fine. Fine by me. How about you? This is currently the biggest of the lot. It's probably uh, maybe a molt or two ahead of the rest, I'll warrant. But uh, still a fair bit to grow. I'd still say at least a couple more molts until this one's an adult. Oh, hi. Did I startle you or something? <laughs> what are you doing? You're waving at me. Yeah, hi. How are you going? Alright, well the Katie did seem to just want to sit still and do... Oh, 
Oh my god, what are people doing on the road today? My goodness. Alright, so the Katie did seem... If the people on the road would shut the hell up. <laughs> my god. So the Katie dids don't seem to be overly keen to do anything especially interesting, apart from just sit around and look pretty. So I think we'll put them back into their enclosure and well, we'll wrap up the video right now. So as per usual, if you enjoy my content, then feel free to check out some of my other videos. There should be plenty else there to interest you. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me a lot, especially seeing as growth for me has been quite slow in the uh, recent couple weeks or so. So thank you all very much for watching. That is it from me and I'll see you again very soon.